Kate Garraway has been spotted out in London for the first time since husband Derek suffered a devastating heart attack. The 56-year-old presenter was seen with bags of shopping leaving a North London Tesco, just weeks after Derek went through yet another life-threatening blow to his health, as he continues his recovery from the effects of Covid. Kate looked tired but still embraced the festive spirit, donning a festive Santa hat while carrying her groceries solo. All her TV commitments have been cancelled for the time being, after she and children, Darcy, 17, and Billy, 14, continue to support Derek in hospital, where they also spent Christmas Day. Good Morning Britain presenter Kate has been supporting her long-suffering husband since he contracted the virus back in March 2020. Former political lobbyist Derek was put into an induced coma and spent over a year in hospital after contracting COVID. He has been left with permanent damage to his organs, and has been admitted to hospital repeatedly with other health issues, including kidney failure and inflammation of the brain. Just days after Kate revealed the family were looking forward to Christmas at home, it was revealed that Derek had suffered a heart attack and had been rushed back to hospital. Kate's Good Morning Britain presenters sent their support and prayers to their co-star while Kate's Smooth FM co-host Jenny Falconer told listeners Derek was in a bad way. A source told The Sun, it's been a heartbreaking time for Kate and, of course, poor Derek. Sadly, his condition remains much the same. The children are aware of the situation and have been by their dad's bedside as much as possible. The whole family is rallying around and trying to stay strong for one another. At Christmas time, this is especially devastating. The unexpected heart attack happened at the end of November, with Derek left fighting for his life. A source at the time revealed, Derek suffered a massive heart attack which has left him fighting for his life all over again. It was sudden and a shock as he had been doing well and was in great spirits, looking forward to Christmas at home with the family. We just hope there will be some more positive news soon as he has been in such a long and tough battle with his health. Kate's only focus right now is Derek and her family. Although an unusual case, Derek is not alone in his plight with long COVID. Dr. Gareth Nye, lecturer of physiology at Chester Medical School, estimated that 80% of those infected with coronavirus ended up developing one or more long-term symptoms. For some, the symptoms will be especially grave. Dr. Nye told The Mirror, after any COVID infection regardless of hospitalization or treatment, your risk of having a cardiovascular event, e.g. heart attack or stroke, is significantly higher in the 12 months that follow. Long-term lung issues are also seen due to the damage from the infection along with long-term changes to your immune system, leading to increased risk of autoimmune diseases, over 40% more likely. Dr. Nye added that regardless of treatment, COVID patients have a higher risk of a heart attack or stroke in the 12 months after contracting the virus with immunity and autoimmune problems also more likely. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.